Tomoe presents useless inventions. Spanish company develops a mattress that will tell you if you're being cheated on. The Spanish designers of a new smart mattress claim their invention can tell you when your partner is being unfaithful. Dubbed the Smartress, the bed has a lover detection system that uses vibration sensors and contact zone detectors to tell if someone is on your bed when they're not supposed to be. If the system detects activity, it notifies you via an app where you can see the movement's location, intensity, and impact. Engineer Ivan Miranda says the device can tell the difference between the activity of sexual intercourse or a dog jumping on the bed. Dermot, the company behind the Smartress, says they've designed it because of Spain's high level of adultery. Basically, Spaniards like to bang a lot, so much so that Dermot went and developed an Orwellian bed. Wouldn't it be easier just to use a remote webcam? Walmart develops self-driving shopping carts. Walmart received a patent last week for its self-driving shopping cart system. The shopping carts will be equipped with detachable motors with video cameras and sensors. Customers can request a cart using their smartphone. Supermarket employees usually have to round up abandoned carts. With the new system, the carts will be able to return to the docking station automatically. The carts can also be used to restock products that are low in stock. It is not yet known when or where the new system will be applied in Walmart supermarkets. Apple Watch's heart monitor may not work on tattooed people. Disgruntled Apple fans have taken to the internet to complain that the Apple Watch's built-in heart monitor does not work properly on people with wrist tattoos. A pulse oximeter monitors a user's heart rate by detecting the amount of oxygen in the bloodstream. Each heartbeat leads to a slight increase in the level of blood oxygen. The Apple Watch's pulse oximeter emits infrared and green LED lights and monitors the amount of light reflected to gauge the level of blood oxygen. However, light may be blocked on people with tattoos. Experts say the glitch could be resolved if more powerful LED lights were installed in the watch's heart monitor. The problem is not unique to the Apple Watch. The performance of hospital pulse oximeters that are attached to the fingernails can be affected by substances including nail varnish. Samsung patents smartwatch with virtual user interface. A recently discovered Samsung patent shows a smartwatch that can project its interface onto any nearby surface, addressing a key limitation of the smartwatch screen. The patent describes a smartwatch with a camera that captures an image of a target area. A processor detects the target area from the image, and a projector beams the virtual interface onto the target area. The watch could project its interface onto the user's forearm, as well as their fingers. The watch could also project the interface onto any flat surface, such as a nearby door. The system would be controlled by gestures. The technology could also be applied on other wearable technologies, such as augmented reality and virtual reality headsets. The system described in the patent would make it easier for users to control a smartwatch compared to input systems on current smartwatches, which rely on a touchscreen or mechanical controls. However, this is just a patent. Samsung has not announced concrete plans for producing such a device. New technology turns skin into smartwatch touchscreen. A team of scientists have developed a new technology that can make the skin on your arm act like a touchpad for a smartwatch. The skin track technology requires the user to wear a ring and a sensor attached to a smartwatch strap. The sensor has four electrodes that are used to receive the high-frequency electrical signals. These signals are emitted by the ring when the finger touches the skin and calculates the exact position of the finger. The technology allows the user to swipe and tap his or her arm to interact with the smartwatch. The user is even able to paint a picture on the arm. The user can also drag apps off the watch and place them onto the entire arm. Hotkey commands can activate functions through shortcuts. For example, users can simply write an S on the arm to silence an incoming call. There are no concrete commercial plans for the skin track. The team says it is working on supplying constant power to the ring and maintaining a steady signal when the body is in constant motion. Self-driving buses go on trial in Finland. 
Finland is testing driverless electric buses in the country's capital. Two driverless EZ10 minibuses with obstacle detection technology are being tested on public roads in Helsinki alongside other vehicles and pedestrians. The minibuses can hold up to 12 passengers each and can reach a top speed of 40 kilometers per hour but travel at an average speed of 10 kilometers per hour. Officials say the buses could be used in the future to connect existing public transportation systems. Finland is a world leader in trials of automated transport, partly because Finnish law doesn't require vehicles on the road to have a driver. Helsinki is testing the buses as part of an ambitious plan to make car ownership unnecessary by 2025 by providing a point-to-point -point mobility on-demand system. The trial began on August 18th and runs for a month. Google has filed a patent for a device that draws blood without a needle. Speculation is mounting online that Google's next piece of wearable technology will be a smartwatch that can draw blood. According to Gizmodo, the gadget could be used to help diabetics monitor blood sugar levels. Diabetics must monitor blood sugar levels several times a day to avoid complications from the disease. The watch works by pricking the finger with a detachable chamber and drawing blood without using a needle. A detachable chamber is placed on top of a fingertip and a gas-powered microparticle is blasted through it towards the skin. The microparticle, which could be as small as 10 microns, as 10 millionths of a meter, pierces the skin and the device draws a small vial of blood into a pressurized chamber. Now containing a blood sample, the device is reattached to the watch, which could be used to measure glucose levels. Humans, get ready to go bionic! Japanese tech giant Panasonic has unveiled a prototype data transmission system that uses the human body to send information. The data is sent through a radio field on human skin. The technology is safe as the currents don't flow inside the body. A person with a transmitter can send data such as a color code to a lamp with a sensor. The lamp can then change its color to match the code. Panasonic predicts the data transmission system could have more practical uses in the future, such as exchanging contact information via a handshake or unlocking doors with just a touch. The technology is currently too big for practical use, but Panasonic is confident it can make the device as small as needed if there is demand for the system. Wearable energy generator powered by urine. Researchers at the University of West England have invented a pair of socks that use urine to fuel a generator that can power a wireless transmitter. The urine-powered footwear design was inspired by the simple cardiovascular system of fish. Soft tubes under the heels pump urine when a person is walking, circulating the urine over microbial fuel cells embedded in the socks. The microbial fuel cells contain bacteria that consume organic waste. The fuel cells convert energy produced by microbial growth into electricity. The electricity generated by the socks can power a wireless transmitter that sends a signal to a computer. The system comes with a container that can store up to 648 milliliters of urine. According to a press release published by the University of West England's website, this technology can use any organic waste to produce electricity. It also opens up the possibility to use waste to power portable and wearable devices. Harvard University graduates have invented a fun solution to tackling the lack of electricity in the developing world. Socket is a soccer ball that harnesses energy every time it is kicked. The pendulum inside the ball swings as it moves, capturing and storing energy in a battery for later use. When the game is over, an LED light can be plugged directly into the ball. Just 30 minutes of play can power a simple LED lamp for three hours. It can even be used to charge a phone. The socket is airless, waterproof and water resistant and weighs only one ounce more than a normal soccer ball. Apple has been granted a patent for a dual-sided laptop display that can be powered by solar panels housed within the back of the lid. Like any other MacBook, the new laptop will house an LED display in the front of the lid while the back will contain solar panels. The solar panels sit under a smart glass which controls how much light filters through. 
Solar panels power touch sensors located in the rear of the laptop display, as well as recharge the laptop battery. They can also be used to power the touch sensors on the rear plate to perform functions such as locking and unlocking the tablet or media playback without having to flip the device open. Apple says the new system can also be implemented on tablets, mobile phones, and other devices such as monitors and televisions.